Mr. Moyles. That wasn't me. That, that was Dave said that. No, it wasn't me, Phil. No, I, I apologise. <laughs> it was racist. Oh, Phil, what what mixed emotions for you today? Because of course, you know, your lovely lady. It's her yeah. last show today. Yeah, um, I know. But but at the same time, you know, you're staying. It must be a little bit weird. Well, I'm staying as long as I know. You never quite know with um, television these days. So mm. I, I had a word yesterday, don't worry. Oh, fine. did you? Oh, yes. thanks, thanks. Sir. You're fine. Yeah, it, it would be different without her, you know, cause ten years we've had a bit of a laugh. and uh, But there we are. Things change, things move on. I'm sure it'll be just as good. Are um, you, are you uh, without giving anything away, because I know you're sitting next to Fern, are you, are you uh, rustling anything up in the kitchen on this morning today? Uh, can't say. Okay, that's a yes. All right, that's fine. <laughs> and also, right, presumably, Phil, you're you're in on on all the surprises that, that await. Yeah, yeah, I am. Good. Yeah, and there's lots of lovely stuff to come. And uh, if you get a chance, have a have a quick look because it's going to be some. It's, it's, it's going to be quite an emotional time. <clears throat> oh, my, my wife just said, "Come over for a snowball, Chris." Oh, that's very nice. Mm. <laughs> I hope she means the drink and not yeah. some kind of weird, weird party game that you two play out in the suburbs. I don't know what you do. Um, well, listen, um, put phone back on. Have a nice day, mate. Have a nice weekend as Cheers, well. Chris, right. Cheers, Chris. Cheers. Bye-bye. There. there you are. There's my husband. Oh, oh. Britain's number three TV chef there. You see it. Really, number three? Well, you know, like Gordon Ramsay and Jamie are still very popular. Now, Blimey. Um, so you have no idea what's on the show. Today. No, nothing. Wow. Nothing. I don't have a script. I don't... You know those dreams you have where you are going into something and you're not at all prepared? <laughs> yeah, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's like that. I just don't know what's going to happen. So mm. it's exciting. Very well, exciting. Well, it's, look, uh, I, I yeah. don't want to give anything away, but, uh, you know, you make sure you send my love to Elvis Presley. Oh! Mm. Is he coming? Yeah. Oh! And I also... Go yeah. I, I also... I, I know you've always been a big fan of Gandhi. Too. I don't yeah. want to give anything away, Fern. Mm. Oh, Chris, it's going to be great. What yeah. about Queen Victoria? Because I love her. Oh, she's dead. Oh, oh. Yeah, sorry thanks to break for breaking that yeah, to me. She well, can't make it. Just, it would have been in your script, but obviously you don't have it to me. <laughs> so, um, so what are you going to do? Are you? Uh, do you have much plans, or do you just go, or is it just as simple as, well, I haven't left yet. Let me just leave, and then I'll have a little break, and then I'll work well, out what I want to do. Yes, it is that, actually. Um, we're going to have... The children will break up from school today. Mm -hmm. So we've got the long summer holidays, which is terrific. And then when they go back to school at the beginning of September, that's when I'll realise right. that life has changed. Um, so I've got... You know, I, I really do want to build my vegetable garden and I really do want to, oh, you know, dear. empty the cupboards, all those boring things. And then in the new year, I'll have a think. Oh, well, good. Yeah. It's not going to yeah. be the same without you. Mm. Well, it won't because it'll be different and it, it doesn't mean to say it'll be better or worse. It'll just be no, different. And Holly like, is gorgeous. You're, oh, she is gorgeous. She is lovely. But she's also 15 years old. So everything they talk about the show, she's going to be shouting in the background, Wasn't born! Wasn't oh. born! Oh. And, well. and by the way, she's going to well. make Philip look even older. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said to him yesterday. I know you did. That was mean, wasn't it? No, it was yes. very funny. Uh, but no, look, it's a great show, and uh, you've been such a, a, a strong part of it. And uh, I just hope you have a great uh, send off today, mm. and I hope you enjoy it. And and, oh, you, and you know you're going to cry. Well, I'm hoping I won't because I'm feeling so peaceful about it all. You know, 10 years is a long time. If I cry, that would be, you know, that's that. But I'm not going to be trying to squeeze tears out. Don't you worry about that. You better be careful because Phil's chopping onions, I think. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's, he doesn't want to make you cry, but today's dish is, is onion surprise. <laughs> you are funny. I oh, Chris. Well, Listen. we love you very much and I'm looking forward to being a Radio 1 listener now. Hooray! Hooray! All right, well, listen, have a great show. Have a great weekend. Okay. We'll all be watching. The mm. nation will be watching uh, this oh, morning to so give you a good send-off. I think my sons might be listening as well. So, good morning, Jack. Morning, Harry. Get on with it and have a good day. Yes, Jack and Harry. Get on with yep, it. That's it. Well done. Get to school. <laughs> for, is it their last day today? Yeah, they all break up today, which is uh, great. Do they break up early? Are they out the door at, like, one o'clock? Yeah, I think it's, uh, yeah, lunchtime. Mm. And um, so they've, they've given me my bottle of, sh of perfume for my birthday this morning because it's my birthday as well today. Oh! And, oh, and they brought oh, me a cup happy of Happy birthday. I tell you what, you. it's all happening for you today. You should get a scratch card on the way in as well because you just <gasps> never know your look. Bloody hell, I will. Oh, mind your yes. language, potty mouth. Oh, oh look at this. Oh, oh, sorry. She's off this sorry. morning. She's so desperate to be down with the Radio 1 kids. She's <laughs> effing and jeffing. <laughs> right, Fern, go and have a great uh, trip okay. in. And uh, love to uh, love to the other uh, Phil in your life. And, and have a great Thank show. You. 
Thanks, Chris. Thanks, boys. Love you. Bye. You'll be sadly Bye. missed. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. I feel quite emotional. Lovely fern. Sorry if that offended anybody. No, nah, it's only a bloody hell. Oh, right, Don't repeat said. it. Oh, bloody, bloody, bloody. <laughs> Get over yourself. Uh, that was Rachel to tell me to say that. So enjoy uh, watching Fern and her last show this morning. The Chris Moyle Show. This morning. International right. Oh, She's so lovely. Isn't she? I think she'll cry. I miss her already. If you're... Uh, do you know what? Why not take the day off work today and just sit and watch that? Mm. Mm. Seriously. Mm. Sit and watch it. It's going to be a great show. Yeah. God, I love shows like that. But it has to be completely self-indulgent. That's how those shows... Because people go, oh, we're No, it has to be completely self-indulgent. Because as a viewer... I could ju- I'll watch that for a couple of hours. Mm. I don't want them to go off and go, right, well, anyway, less about me now. Let's talk about a brand new movie, which is coming out. No, I don't want to know about the brand new mm, movie. Then yeah. tell me about that, mm. and, you know, next week or whatever. Who well, cares about you? Off. <laughs> no, who cares about the movie? It's a, it is about you. Yeah. So it's the opposite of what you just said. No, Dave. no, no, no. I meant I was playing the role of Fern, saying who cares about you, because obviously it's all about her. That's I right. me if I was Fern, but do you see where I am? Okay. In fact, she should have the first word of today's show, and if he goes to speak, she should tell him to shut up. Yeah. A little dig in the ribs or something to fill. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Can it, go. <laughs> Shut up, you! Oh. Hello, it's my last show! Yay! Yeah, get out of the way, Greyhead. Right, welcome! <laughs> Whoa, it's all about me! That's <laughs> what it should be. Yeah. Is that the way that you would play it? If it was you, would you would you make it very self-indulgent? <laughs> yes, I, th- I don't think you even have to ask. Good morning, morning and welcome. We have a show full to the brim today. Oh, it's full to the brim. That's nice, isn't it? Full to the brim. I can reveal, by the way, I have seen uh, the script for today's This Morning, which Fern hasn't seen. I know she might be listening now with Tony driving and a lovely uh, fella next next to her who's got a bag of onions at the booth. (laughs) Mm. I can tell you, I have seen something on the script and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to reveal it. Are you allowed to do that? Yeah, I am. Okay. The opening words to the show. Yeah. Good morning. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good morning. Good morning. You watch, right? Digital FM online. This, this is BBC Radio One. Remember, I told you, yeah. Who told you? I told you. You remember that, yeah? Yeah, dumb. Yes. Remember, I told you. Yes. Yeah? You told me. I told you. Yep. Good morning, yeah. That's what. That's how they're gonna start the show, innit? You get me. I get you, yeah. But I told you though, yeah. Don't you go forgetting that. I'll have a word with your mother. Wow, what about? If you believe, you can achieve, innit? If you if you can achieve, then you should believe, innit? That's how Dave and I speak, by the way, in real life, yeah. when the mic processors go off. <laughs> Aye, Dave, do you want another cup of Earl Grey, innit? Carol Bunga. <laughs> That's just right. Oh, man. Uh, Scotty the Posty in Witness says, I can't believe you're all skirting around the issue. Obviously, Fern's last show on this morning is mm. today, and then in September, she starts doing the mid-morning slot on Radio 1. We all know about it. Why are you hiding it? <laughs> yeah, well, there is that, of course. Right. Anyway, have a great day, Fern. Right, let's get the news and support. Oh, by the way, and just in case the Lord Schofield is listening, mm. you know, we'll, be, we'll still be watching you when you come back with a new show, Phil. Don't worry. Scof. But today, it's all about fun. He'll be drunk and wine anyway by 11 o'clock. Will he? Yeah, of course he will. Right, it's four minutes past ten. There are claims there aren't enough medics in the armed forces.